guys, good morning. Welcome to another video diary. <laughs> um, I think this is video diary number 26, which means we are almost to 30, which means um, I might not do these every single day, but we'll see. Um, what do you guys think? What, do you wanna see video diaries daily? Do you wanna see content daily from me? I mean, I will be honest. Um, I really have been enjoying my video diaries. It's something that I've been like looking forward to. Um, the, like every single time I get up in the morning, I'm thinking, oh, I get to, you know, film and stuff. And like, <coughs> it's, it's quickly become part of my morning routine. We'll just say that. <laughs> um, and I really enjoy just being able to start the day like that, you know, and, and all of that. So breakfast i i just finished my scrambled eggs i made some scrambled eggs with like some onions and tomato like diced onions and tomatoes that pico de gallo stuff that i showed you guys and um, i had left over um pumpkin bread from starbucks that i didn't eat yesterday so i saved it because i was like oh i could eat that for breakfast and then i cut up the last pieces of my strawberries that i had so delicious I'm just munching on the last of it. Um. Let me have some coffee. Mmm, that pumpkin bread, so good. But it like sticks to your mouth. <sighs> Coffee's still hot. <laughs> um. So. I've been really liking the video diaries. I think it's something that I wanna continue doing. I just don't know if I'm gonna do it every day. So I want your input. Like I want you guys to tell me, what do you think? What do you guys think, you know? If you see white in my hair, it's because I sprayed dry shampoo in my hair. So, but I have been noticing, like I feel like I've been sprouting so many more gray hairs. Um, like I have a big patch of it under behind my ear somewhere around here and it really shows when I put my hair up in a ponytail um, but I feel like like my gray hairs have been coming out a lot <laughs> like the last couple of weeks mmm mmm bitter some of these strawberries are bitter um so yesterday I went to the crystal shop so I remember I mentioned <clears throat> I mentioned yesterday how I wanted to go to the crystal shop. Let me get, let me just try to get comfortable here. I try to put this stool so I could like, let me see if I could just. Let me see if I can put both of them so I can sit my ass on both of them so I'm not like, oh no, that doesn't work. Oh, well maybe that'll work. Okay, so. <laughs> I have like one butt cheek and then the thigh is like on the other stuff on the other stool um okay so I went to the crystal shop yesterday um I also went to sprouts like I said because it's five dollar sushi Wednesday and um so I bought a sushi roll from sprouts and then I went to the crystal shop <laughs> and one of my favorite um workers there she was there today or yesterday so when she sees me she's like hey girl I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> so I used to go into that shop all the time. Um, sometimes it was just like, I was just lonely and I wanted somebody to talk to. And she was one of the people that was there and she was actually one of the girls that was, um, she was teaching a, like a book club thing for women who were, women who run wild with wolves. Um, and so I had, was inspired by, that book club to read the book for myself. Um, and so I just always had a fun, I always have fun conversations with her and stuff. She's just someone really fun to talk to. So she was there and she was like, I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, excuse me. She's like, I haven't seen you in forever. And I told her why I moved. So I told her where I'm living now and then I only come in like when I'm going on my way to work, so. <laughs> But it was nice to see her. So, I picked up a couple crystals. And the, I the thing about this shop that I love is, that's my receipt. 
is they put the little papers next to the crystals that you're buying so that you can read all about their metaphysical properties and stuff. So I picked up one for Smoky Quartz because I wanted to remind myself what Smoky Quartz was about. And then they had the Empathic Warriors. So um, I mentioned in one of my older videos um, about having a clear quartz crystal that it was just really near and dear to me and it, it attracted my attention because it had like a red, there was like a red mineral that was mixed in with it. And it, to me, it just looked like a slice, you know? And so it just like spoke to me, um, like that crystal had gone through a lot, you know? I know, if those of you people who are not like into the crystal thing, you won't understand. So these empath warriors are, um, it says they are recognized by damage to the crystal's points and or sides. Um, so the shop will put together this whole like little paragraph thing all about crystals that are imperfections that have imperfections because you guys know I'm guilty of this too when you go to a crystal shop um, and you're looking at your crystals you're looking for the one you want to buy a lot of times people are looking for the one that's the best like in the best shape or the one that is like has imperfections or that is just like nothing is wrong with it you know um, and <clears throat> and so they have like a whole bowl of clear quartz crystals in so many different shapes and shape shapes and sizes. <laughs> and um, a lot of these crystals have something wrong with them. So um, they're broken, they're cracked, they're chipped or whatever. So this one has a um, like a indentation on its side. You can see it there. Um, and so it was in the pile of empath warriors. <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole thing, but basically it says empath or empathic warrior crystals are some of the strongest crystals as far as energy. They have seen their own battles and come through them alive, bringing energy of strength and empathy for dealing with challenges and injury. These crystals are excellent teachers that teach beauty, that teach... I can't read today. Sorry, you guys. These crystals are excellent teachers that our true beauty comes from within. That true beauty comes from within. Oh my God. <laughs> As empaths, they energize increased compassion for others. Empathic warriors are said to be fabulous crystals, healing tools for passing on energy healing without losing one sense of self. So I really like that. And I was really attracted to the empath crystal yesterday because of my video that I had put out yesterday <laughs> where um, I was talking about, you know, beauty and your and your body and self-love and, and, and just my insecurities and stuff. So... I was kind of like in a little fragile state of mind yesterday. Even though I was like positive and happy, um, I was a little bit, you know, that was on my mind. And so, sorry guys, if this is like lopsided, I just realized it. I don't want the video to come off like that. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit straighter. Um, and so I, um, you know, that was on my mind and whatever. So the fact that I laid eyes on those empath warriors, I was like, okay, that's kind of like the energy that I need right now. Um, okay, so I'll just go ahead and read more of it. Warrior crystals are, crystal, are quartz crystal power pieces. They're most often generator lasers or quantums, which have been harshly handled and consequently have damaged, chipped, or broken points. Warrior crystals symbolize the spiritual warrior in you and remind you that you are expected to overcome anything, blocking your growth without complaining, even if life drops you on your head a few times. Warrior crystals often display brilliant rainbows, and it is often the effort of overcoming the damage to their power that has caused the warrior to create and reflect back these rainbows. Warriors remind us to do the same thing. I love that. These crystals are excellent strengtheners of mental and spiritual qualities and connect you more directly to the earth's energy, surrounding you at any given moment wherever you are. Warriors are great companions on any part of your spiritual journey or quest. Meditation with warrior crystals can help you access your own spiritual warrior nature and with the proper effort on your part, even lead you to your vision quest and support you on your journey. In short, warriors help you access, access your warrior qualities and remind you that the only battle you ever really fight is within your own house or, or your own nature, sorry. 
Warriors remind you to take responsibility for your life and your reactions to it. And to see your excuses for not being your true self for what they really are. Then your warrior makes sure you overcome any illusions and limitations with truth, integrity, and absolute impeccability. I love that whole written thing. I had a, um, I had originally had one <laughs> from another um, warrior crystal that I had picked up from them. And I probably picked up maybe like three or four in my time going over to this shop. Um, and I just love it. I love reading it because I just think it's so empowering. So this is just a regular clear quartz crystal. It has a single point. The point at the very tip of it is chipped. It has other little baby crystals growing out of its back, so I kind of like that. <laughs> and um, and I just I just really found it to be absolutely beautiful. It has another mineral or part of the rock or earth that it was growing out of at the bottom of it. So I don't know. I just really love clear quartz, and this one just completely grabbed my attention. So I picked her up. Um. I picked up two other crystals. Now, this shop has um, like little bins, like little um, containers where they have like their crystals um, organized. So they'll have like their clear quartz, their smoky quartz, their rose quartz in little containers. And the crystals are only $2 a piece. So they're like tumbled, like the little tumbled stones. But <laughs> in the smoky quartz bin, there was this big old beautiful oval shaped clear or uh, smoky quartz and um the all the other ones like all the other smoky quartzes in the little bins were um significantly smaller and so when I brought him up to the counter she was just like "Ooh, that's a big size that's a big size and was he in the um she's like was he in the container and I was like yes and she's like okay two dollars and I was like, sweet. <laughs> so um, yeah, I totally have a love relationship with the Smoky Quartz. So I pulled Smoky Quartz, the little slip next to him. Um, and it says, relieves depression, tension, balances sexual energies, can be used to dissolve emotional damages. Helps align the alpha and beta parts of the mind to allow clear thinking without worrier, worries or conflict. Balances and centers the physical and ethereal bodies. Smoky Quartz, Starla! Oh my gosh. Smoky Quartz is a very effective protective stone capable of surrounding the processor, the possessor the possessor with an energy barrier useful in grounding your energy and stabilizing your connection when contacting or traveling to the other side so contacting the other side yesterday somebody pointed out that there was an orb visible in my video and I went back and looked for that timestamp that they said. So yesterday's video, they said it was around 250. It ended up being around 250. So two minutes and 50 seconds. Um, and so you could totally see the little orb popping up in the bottom corner where the couch is. And um, I, so I cut that piece of the video out and I posted it on my Instagram so people could see what an orb looks like. And I thought that that was like so cool. Um, I'm sure that there's always orbs all over the place because they're everywhere. But the fact that one was caught on the camera was really neat. So when I went to the crystal shop, I was drawn to the smoky quartz. And then of course, when I pulled the paper and I'm looking at it and I read that last line where it's, it's um, where it says stabilizing your connection with contacting or traveling to the other side to contact with the other side. To me, I was like, okay, I need to have another little smoky. I have other smokies, but what I like to do is like every once in a while, I like to add another crystal to the collection because it's a brand new energy to work with. Um, and then, you know, obviously if you're doing a grid, then you, as you start building your collection, you'll have more smokies to work with. You know what I mean? So even though I have other smoky quartzes that I could work with, with like spirit communication or like the fact that I have an orb in my house, which means there's spirit around, <laughs> um, you know, it's just really cool. It was just like a cool, 
it was just really cool. Like I was just so excited over that. So um, I have a beautiful smoky quartz that I'm going to be carrying with me today. Um, I love its energy. It has it has a phantom in it. So a phantom. Ugh, I need to stand up to show you guys this. So a phantom in a crystal is basically like you could see another crystal within it. I guess that's like the best way to explain it. So can you see that? Can you see this line right here? So it has a phantom inside of it. So it appears to have another crystal within it. And then it has rainbows inside of it, which I don't think they're gonna pop up right now because of the kind of lighting I have in here. Um, but you have like all of this beautiful stuff going on. <laughs> and the whole crystal itself is just murky, like cloudy and because that's, you could totally see the phantom there. Um, it's cloudy because it's clear, uh, smoky quartz. It's, it's supposed to look smoky, you know what I mean? And I just love it. I love the shape of it. It's semi-flat and it's like oval shaped and it's smooth. So it, it could sit in my pocket. I could put it in my bra. I can hold it when I'm meditating. Like it's, I love stones that are like that. And then the other stone I picked up is another citrine. This one was rather dark. And it had a gigantic rainbow right here on the side. I don't know if it's gonna catch on camera. Where are you? It's like, I don't think it's gonna catch on camera, but it has a big ass rainbow right here on the face of it. Anyway, um, I really, really liked the citrine, I've been really drawn to citrine. I didn't pull a paper for it though because I couldn't find any. I don't think they had any more. Um, but I really liked the fact that this one was much darker. It looks like honey. Um, so it just reminded me of fall. So just like the colors of the crystals, I just was so into it. So I picked up a, a citrine. Um, but citrine is really good for like prosperity it's good for um fortune like your money your your finances that kind of stuff um so i think it's like a it was a positive stone to pick <laughs> and lastly i picked up a bracelet um and so this is an aquamarine bracelet and the aquamarine is much more bluer than the other stones that i have usually they're because i have lower grade aquamarine so um, but these are blue, blue, blue. Um, I'm hoping it's real aquamarine. Um, I trust this shop. I trust these people, you know, that they're not going to be putting out fakes and whatnot. But, um, anytime like I buy aquamarine, I'm very skeptical because, um, you could easily fake aquamarine with like blue laced agate or like a maisonite. But this doesn't look like a maisonite to me, and blue lace agate has more of the stripes, and this one does these these stones don't have it, um, and then it's like on camera it might look blue blue blue, but off camera it has like a bluish gray and white like tint to it, so it does look like aquamarine to me, but aquamarine is really good for calming your energies for anxiety and that which is i have anxiety <laughs> um it's really good for if you're worried if you worry a lot if you're nervous if you deal with a lot of um like stress and just worry stuff so aquamarine really soothes you it's a soothing stone so the fact that it, it was in a bracelet i was like oh, i gotta have it so i hate how i have like i have like thick what is this I hate how I have thick wrists, but that's part of plus size life. <laughs> so um, the bracelets never like fit loose, you know, unless like they make them bigger, but whatever. So today I'm going to wear my aquamarine and then I'm also going to wear my favorite Pisces bracelet. So yeah, aquamarine is really good for just relaxing and um, soothing your stresses and soothing your like like so you're not going like batshit crazy all the time um so yeah but i just wanted to show you guys what i got because i was really excited um they had a couple decks and i didn't really i wasn't really feeling drawn to any of their decks so i didn't buy them but um that's the only downside is that it seems like all of the shops that have really good decks um, are all out in like LA. <laughs> um, LA has always been the place 
to go for decks like when you're going to a crystal shop so usually like nine times out of ten I am buying I am buying my decks either online or I buy them um, at Barnes & Noble it's very rare that I pick a deck up at a shop unless I'm in LA <laughs> so the shops in LA just seem to have so much more variety um I don't know but I'm never in LA. Like I don't like going. To, I don't like going out to LA. <laughs> I'm not an LA girl. I'm not a city girl. So too much people. It's too crowded. Mm. Starla, <laughs> she loves to play. She's in this. She has this habit right now of taking her collar off. So. I had loosened her collar so that she could be more comfortable. I, I don't know. I'm always thinking, oh my gosh, her collar looks so tight on her. But it's not. Like, I could put my fingers through it. But I loosened it up a little bit. And she takes it off. Like, she's learned how to pull it off twice in the matter of two days. She's pulled her collar off. So this morning, I adjusted it to be a little bit snug. It's not super tight, but it's just, it's not loose anymore like it was because she plays with it. So I think she prefers it a little bit more like fitted on her neck because then it's not bothering her. I guess like maybe when it's loose, the little tag with her name on it starts to bug her. I don't know. But when it was like more snug, she was leaving it alone. So I guess I'm going to have to do that now. Luna likes hers loose. Like I have Luna's, is she, yeah, she's over there. <laughs> Um, I have Luna's collar loose on her because Luna's a big cat and so she has a lot of fur and I just feel like it would be so uncomfortable for her to have a snug collar. Hi, my baby girl. Hi, my Luna. Hi, my baby girl. <laughs> so she's there and then Starla's being a little terror over here somewhere. Starla. That toy she's playing with was actually Luna's first toy when she was a kitten. <laughs> so that's kind of cute. Um, so you guys, um, I guess I'll just do this so you guys can see Luna. She's so cute. Um, so I don't know. It's already going to be 10. I'm going to leave in another hour and a half. Um, I guess I guess the only thing I wanted to say is that um, I'm sorry to some of you who are not enjoying... Um, <laughs> Who are not enjoying my um, video diaries, like the the, diff, the all the different stuff that I have been putting on my channel, and not just tarot readings. Um, one of you commented that you weren't even gonna watch the video; that you were just gonna patiently wait for. I don't know. It kind of seemed like a backhanded comment, to be honest with you. Um, but I feel like you were like you were trying to be nice, but not really being nice. I don't know. Um, but you were like, um, I'm just, I'm not going to watch the video. I'm just going to patiently wait for the next reading, which is where you shied more or something like that. Like basically like all my other videos are shit. Um, I suck. And then the only, you're only here for the readings. So, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, to each their own, um, to each their own like I can't I can't I'm not here to make everybody happy and I'm not here to try to try to make everybody happy um I'm here to do what I want to do I'm here to do different things um if I tried to make everybody happy I would go crazy like bottom line because there's always going to be somebody who's going to be disappointed in something mm. And it is what it is but thank you for watching my channel anyway if you still continue to do so um but some people are here for the readings and some people are here for everything and some people are just here to come on my video and dislike it like that's another thing i've been noticing is that <laughs> um my videos all have at least three or four dislikes some of them have a little bit more but um for the most part 
I have at least three dislikes. So there's at least three haters or it's one person who doesn't have a life and has three channels and is hating it on all three channels. Um, but I guess it's just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's just funny because it's like, even my husband jokes about it. He's like, he goes, oh, did you get your three dislikes today? I go, yep, you know it. Usually it's always there, like on every video. So that's kind of funny. It's funny. It's just funny to me because it's like, the likes and dislikes are just like, it's all attention that you're putting on the channel, you know? Um, I'm not here to grow my channel. I'm not here to do any of that. I just like to put videos out. I just like to put videos out and I like, I like watching videos and to me it's like, if I could, if I could add to that content, why not? So. I love the holographic tarot. I wish it was wider. <laughs> it's too narrow. Ten of Swords and Emperor. Ten of Swords is like, you don't like my content? Sorry. And the Emperor is like, I'm still going to do what I want anyway. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Sort of. Um, but yeah, you guys, I don't know. You can't make everybody happy, so don't try. Don't even try. You're just going to disappoint yourself. <laughs> You're just going to disappoint yourself trying to make everybody happy. It's just too much. Um, but yeah. But I will be getting back into my readings. Um, so... Those of you guys who are here for the readings, um, I'm off on Friday. I'm, I work Saturday, but I'm off Friday, Sunday, and Monday. And my husband's not coming home this weekend, so I will have all that extra time to do readings. I didn't do readings last week because I was taking a break, and then also I was spending time with him because he was home. Um, so I will be getting readings done. My, my goal is to get all of them done next week or this weekend because I want to kind of have a clean slate for October. So, um, yeah, that's the goal. And if you're here, oh, I got Ten of Swords again. <laughs> if you're here for, um, if you're here just for the readings, you'll start seeing some videos pop up. Now, the other thing I wanted to say, oh my gosh, like this is the card that Starla was chewing on. How horrible. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that not all of my my not all of my client readings go public. Um, I I do a lot of unlisted readings. I only post a couple public because you know some people are here for the readings. Um, I have gone back and forth on the idea of like should I post them all private. And whatnot like I go back and forth with that so I haven't yet decided but I think I'm still gonna keep doing what I do it's just a lot of other readers do make their videos private for their clients um but I always have my clients like if you want it private you guys can just totally tell me and I'll do it you know I'm not gonna make it public if you don't want it to um, but I do keep everything anonymous so I'm not like putting names out there and stuff um so yeah <laughs> but if you're here just for the videos, don't worry, you guys. There will be some on Friday. Um, it's Friday, Sunday, and Monday. Those are my reading days, so yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this. I'm just going to chillax, finish my coffee, and then I'm going to get ready for work. Get ready to go to work. So talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day. Bye, loves.